some disadvantages of uh, spread redundancy were that we have considered. The problem is that, uh, as, I've uh, as I've already mentioned, it's uh, the image frequencies that can and that may uh, come along with the desired RF frequency to which the bandwidth filter was tuned. So if you don't have any um, uh, RF uh, bandpass filter before the mixer, you can have those, these two frequencies, okay? Uh, and they, they're going to come along in the intermediate pre and the intermediate bandpass filter, and they can be demodulated with different uh, center frequency. So, um, so the disadvantage of the super heterodyne receiver is, uh, is is of its own. It's uh, it's with respect to the signals that they input to the mixer, and the receiver will simultaneously detect signals at the desired frequency and also any signal presented under that frequency. And this frequency is the image frequency. Why? Because these, you see the difference over here. Uh, the mixer is going to produce some indifference. We are not interested in the higher frequency. The difference is the same. So it's again the difference is 455 kilohertz if you're considering the AM receiver. So uh, let's use some numbers to understand. It's, uh, it's again the same thing. You see, suppose we have a conventional AM receiver and uh, we have an uh, intermediate frequency of 425 for uh, AM receiver. And suppose the local oscillator is set to 1015 kilohertz, okay? So in order to receive a station broadcasting at 560 kilohertz, which is near the lower edge of the broadcast range, AM broadcast range, uh, uh, you have this 1015, which is local oscillator minus 455 that is 560 kilohertz so it's going to be 560 is going to be translated to intermediate frequency but again consider a signal okay uh, uh, that that is that is at 1470 kilohertz so all the mixes we have considered will also produce a 455 kilohertz intermediate sig signal uh, frequency signal from any input signal presented 1470 and because that's just 455 kilohertz above the local authority that's right right so 455 plus uh, 1015 is going to give you 1470. So this signal is the image of 560. So this is the image of 560 kilohertz. Okay, so these both are uh, image frequency. We call them the image frequency. And this 1470 is the undesired frequency, which is going to come along and get demodulated at the detector stage. And at the audio or the output, you're going to hear something else. So if the receiver has no RF filtering before the mixer, uh, there happens to be the signal at 1470, it will be detected along the desired 560 and the bandpass filter ahead of the mixer is so a bandpass filter is needed uh, ahead of the mixer to pass the desired frequency and greatly suppress the signal at image frequency. So we don't need the image frequency to get along with the RF frequencies. So note that in this example, the most common uh, AM receiver design, this anti-image bandpass filter must be tunable, okay? And it should be so tunable so that for the receiver to have a single dial tuning and this tuning filter must always track, this is important, it must always track 455 kilohertz below the local oscillator frequency, okay? So for example, over here, if you were, to, if you if you desire 560 kilohertz station tuning, um, the center frequency should be tracking the the lower end of the uh, the local oscillator uh, frequency. Okay, so for example, 560 kilohertz is lower than 1015. So of course, the bandpass filter should have suppressed 1470. So the the center frequency of the bandpass should be uh, should be tuned such that it always tracks 455 kilohertz below the local oscillator frequency. Okay, so that the higher frequency does not uh, shows up as a or the image frequency does not shows up as a as an intermediate frequency, okay? So in this example, the tracking requirement is not difficult to satisfy since the image frequency is more than an octave above the desired frequency. The simple one section filter shown in the super receiver can fairly uh, broad and uh, still provide an adequate image rejection, maybe 20 dB or so. But note that if uh, 20 dB is not adequate if the signal at image frequency is 20 dB higher or stronger than the signal at the desired frequency. Okay. But again, a, that, that's uh, that's the case if your uh, image frequency is very strong, and there is a problem because in the response of the bandpass filter, if you're considering such a response, and this is uh, much higher, the strength of the image frequency is much higher, and the response is not adequate to provide the necessary attenuation, 
then there is a problem. But uh, the, the, the center frequency should be, again, the center frequency should be tuned such that it tracks the lower end of the local oscillator frequencies. So you don't have this problem of the image frequencies at the high. But then uh, again, uh, if what if, for example, okay, what if the receiver with the same 45 kilohertz IF frequency band is also to cover for the short wave band? So what it means is if you are going to uh, demodulate the high frequency signals or short wave uh, bands, uh, then there is a problem. You see, the the worst image situation occurs when the highest frequency, for example, let's say is 30 megahertz, where the image is only 3% higher. Then <coughs> you see at a very high frequency, at a very high frequency of let's say 30 megahertz, if you are at 30 megahertz, you're considering a typical short wave radio broadcast um, frequency. So let's say 3% above is somewhere over here, so you're not going to provide much of an attenuation, right? So this level is, is too close, it's too close. Uh, <coughs> in order to have a very sharp or a high Q response like this, instead, like this somehow, it's, you know, it's not rounded, so it's something like this. You, you need uh, a response for a response like this, you need a higher order uh, bandpass filter. So the order n, so let's say this is n2, if this is n1, this is n1, then n2 is greater than n1, which means you need more sections, you need more uh, LC tunable bandpass filters or coupled resonators for bandpass filters. So there's more tuning coming up. So for example, <coughs> a filter of 20 dB down at only 3% from a center frequency, uh, we'll need to have many sections, right? So if you're 20, 20 dB down at only 3%, you, if this is to be, this difference is to be 20 decibels, you see at the high frequency, the image frequency is close to the center frequency. The problem is that and you need a very fine uh, tuning at, you need to reject or you need a very high Q at the center frequency. You need many sections and all of which must be tuned simultaneously with mechanical multi-section variable capacitor or voltage controlled very caps. So again, there is a hardware requirement if uh, you're dealing with a high frequency radio receiver. As explained above, the center frequency of the filter must track with a 455 kilohertz offset from the local oscillator frequency in order that the desired signal falls within the narrow IF pass band. But image Projection again is not simple when the IF frequency is much lower than the input frequency. So at, at high frequencies, yes, we, uh, you need a, a large section, uh, multi, uh, multi section, uh, variable capacitor and inductor uh, bandpass filters, okay, which can add up to more tunable sections and more hardware requirements.